Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I did this very, very small perm rod set on my hair. And I believe it got me the perfect curly afro. I really, really love wearing my curly hair in an afro state, especially in the winter time because it's not too hot and it just really, really looks good and frame my face. I am going ahead and section my hair off because working in sections is going to be the best thing that you can do when working with smaller perm rods. sections do not have to be perfect by any means and that is because likely it's going to be hard to get those parts out anyway. My favorite foam lotion at the moment is the Dew Mousse and I am going with these gray perm rod sets. I am not being skimpy with the mousse. I really am going to use a lot of that just to make sure that my curls are solidified in place. I am only using this product today. Most of you all may know this by now if you watched my previous video, but I am getting a silk press by a professional soon. And I was instructed to not put a lot of heavy products on my hair because it could cause my hair to revert very easily. But back into the perm rod set, I am making sure that I roll my hair very, very tightly and tautly. And when I get ready to secure the perm rod, now this is important, you want that black string to be as close to your roots as possible. And if you have to stick your nail in there to readjust, do not be afraid to do that. I am not very particular about if they need to be in a diagonal or if my rollers are going to look horizontal because the curls are going to come out very, very similar at the end. Sometimes you may have to add a little bit more water to your hair if you have low porosity hair like mine and sometimes it just looks very, very dry. Just add a little bit more water before going in with the foam lotion. As I am rolling my hair, I really, really like to use my thumbs to make sure that my hair is very, very smooth on the rod. Once I feel that it is secure, I will create these spirals just like this. And I make sure that I hold the roots of my hair while I do that because you all know I am tender headed. Um, so I do like to do that just so that I'm not causing any pain. And I am not afraid to go in with my rat tail comb to make sure all of the tangles are out because if you want these curls to come out as precise as possible, you do not want your hair to be tangled at all. And of course, I am going to repeat this process all over my head. In the back section here, I had about 26 rollers, 24 or 26, something like that. I know some of you like to know how many rollers you need. I did not use more than 50 rollers for this. So I think in most beauty supply stores, they come in a pack of 10. So you only need about five, which if you go to a local beauty supply store, they're typically like $2 a pack. So super, super affordable. To my knees. I am really starting to enjoy perm rod sets a little bit more than twist outs and braid outs because for me, they kind of dry a lot, lot faster. And it's just like a one product type of show. Like I only have to put one product on my hair. I don't have to mix like three ingredients. And I just really, really like how it leaves my hair in a very, very stretched state, which means that when it is time for another style and the curls are just looking droopy, it is easier for me to throw a braid or a flat twist in the front and stretch it to wash day because my hair is already in a stretch state. I remember what you were saying. Sometimes you... And 45 minutes later, my hair is all rolled up. Like I said, I use just a little bit less than 50 rollers for this hairstyle and it is time to get up under the dryer. I only had to sit up under this dryer for 45 minutes. It is about time for bed, but before bed, I am going to put a little curl shine just to have that shine spray seep in overnight. You actually could have taken your rollers out at this point, but for me, I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to have these curls be fresh in the morning. So here I am morning, it is time to take my bonnet off. And as you all can see, some of that curl shine really, really soaked into my hair overnight. To remove these rollers, you literally only have to just take them apart and swirl your hand around. <laughs> it is pretty, pretty simple and you really don't have to worry about messing up these curls because the mousse death is really, really a stronghold foam spray. So you don't have to worry about causing too much frizz. In order 
order to separate my curls I am going to add a little bit more curl shine just in case if a little frizz wants to pop up I can smooth it out with this product now one thing I like about the mousse def you don't have to focus on where the hair naturally wants to separate because you can reinforce those curls just by swirling your fingers around which is why this hairstyle is typically easier than most twist outs and braid outs whereas you do have to really really focus on where the hair naturally wants to separate I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, I let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these so this is what the hair looks like once it has all been separated and I said honey I'm not gonna look like my grandma today so I am going to clip my curls out of the way and I am going to get a little stretching on now this is super super simple super super easy can be done in five minutes you just want to of course place your hair in sections without disturbing the curls I am using my swirly curly hair dryer today I'm counting to 20 kind of at a fast speed as I am doing this, this is actually in real time. So I count to 20, stretch it out. You all see that I just added a little bit of length to my hair and I am going to do that to my entire head. While stretching your hair, you definitely want to hold the ends. You do not want to disturb the curls at the end because that is what makes the style. So make sure you hold the ends of your hair very, very tightly. Everything we said, but I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. Love me like that. Oh. And with a little fluff and a little shake, here we are. My signature curly fro that I really, really like to achieve with firm rod sets. And oh my god, the volume is just super, super amazing as well as the movement. I live for movement of the hair and I get more movement when I have my hair in a perm rock set than what I do when I have a twist out or braid out. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. See ya!